Hi, I'm James and today we're cooking a risotto of broccoli and peas. So we've got some parmesan here, uh, granite padano would work equally well, which is a cheap alternative. We've got some butter, a lemon, some aborio rice, there are a few other rices that will work for this. If you've only got long grain, it will. This has just got more uh, starch in it, so it'll make a thicker risotto. We've got some frozen peas, some garlic, some onions, and some broccoli. I've saved the stalk just to show you we don't need to waste this. If you've got some animals, I'm sure you might feed them to them, but this is really, really good to use. So if you just chop it up into thin slivers and then just go across into fine slices and then we'll turn it this way and we'll dice it up. Right, so first step, this pan's nice and warm. We've got it on uh, medium heat. We just put a touch of vegetable oil in and then we'll add our onions, broccoli and garlic and keep it moving. We don't want to get any colour on this. We are looking just to soften the onions down. We'll add another teaspoon of oil and some salt straight away. So we'll season that straight away. We'll uh, draw all the moisture out of the broccoli, out of the garlic, out of the onion and um, almost begin to steam it rather than hard frying it. And then we'll turn the heat down now, so onto the lowest setting. So at this stage we'll add half the butter I've got here. And then we've got 300 grams of rice. So a Borio rice normally comes in one kilo or 500 gram packs. So for two quid a, a box, you'll get two or three meals out of it. So what we're looking to do is just gently toast these grains um, before, no, no colour, but just getting them nice and nutty before adding the vegetable stock and hot water. So after a minute toast on the rice, just to crispen it up, we'll add our first part of the stock. So we can turn this up slightly at this point to around uh, halfway, so three slash four on your hob, and just add half of our stock. So it's just one stock cube, one litre of liquid. Right, so after a couple of minutes, the rice will start to absorb in all the water. So we'll just keep topping it up. The rice itself is going to take about 20 minutes to cook, but we don't want to add all the water in one go. So we'll go little by little, constantly move it around. Obviously, to counteract it sticking, the lower you have it, um, the less likely it will catch, but it will also take twice as long to cook. Right, so I've topped this up uh, four times now, so that's had two litres of uh, liquid, and nearly all the last jug has evaporated. And you can hear it, as you move with a the spoon, there'll be, as it's sticking, so you, you just need to keep, constantly keep moving that to stop that happening, otherwise you'll just get burnt bits of rice throughout. So we'll add the last, the last of the butter now. This will begin to emulsify. And you can see that it's looking creamy already. It's, uh, the starch is really starting to work out of the risotto, out of the rice. And that's how you get that real creamy texture. So we're ready now to add our broccoli. So roughly 20 minutes at this stage. And then we add our broccoli. And that's going to take about three or four minutes to cook, which will be, the rice will be sort of perfect itself by then as well. Right, so that's at its four minutes. We'll now just fold the peas in, and they are straight out of the freezer. Um, so they won't be at all. A minute or so. A little touch more water, so it should really be of that almost runny texture. Um, sometimes you see it like really sticky and clay, and it's just not very nice. Uh, we'll add our cheese. I've saved a little bit of Parmesan back to go on top as well, so you don't have to do that. But it takes quite a lot of cheese. Um, and obviously this will make like a sauce as well. If you need to, always have a little bit more water on hand just to top it up, just so you can get the right consistency. We'll just constantly season as we go through. So if your children don't like pepper, don't use it, but mine are okay with it. And then just keep tasting it so you're happy with, happy with it to, to your taste. So we'll just finish it with a little bit of lemon juice. 
try not to get the seeds in there. And then that's the desired consistency, just where it runs back on itself. And then just some nice salad leaves. They're optional. And some freshly grated parmesan over the top. 